Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam, welcome back to another video. Apple just dropped iOS 12.3 beta one for developers today. And if you are in the Apple public beta testing program, you'll probably be seeing this update in a couple days to a week. We don't exactly know just yet. It was pretty big here on the iPhone XR, 2.65 gigabytes. And the focus of this update is basically preparing your device for Apple's upcoming streaming services. What? No way. You can see immediately there is a brand new Apple TV icon because inside of iOS 12.3, starting off right here, there is a brand new version of the TV app. And I also have read that rather than it being restricted to certain places now, I think the TV app is available for all iOS devices everywhere, but I'll correct myself in the comments below if for some reason that isn't true. You can see here at the top, it looks very similar to Apple News Plus. You can look at sports, kids stuff, you can look at TV shows or movies. When you tap on one of those, you're going to get a corresponding, well, list of stuff that you might be interested in watching. Scrolling through stuff up here, Apple is combining a lot of the great parts of the iTunes store with the new TV app and iOS 12.3. So for example, if you wanted to watch Aquaman, you can now do that right inside of the TV app. I'm not actually gonna do it just because you know I, I don't really wanna watch Aquaman right now, but if you wanted to, you could do that straight from the Apple TV app. It's also been redesigned on tvOS, so if you're looking forward to Apple streaming services, then you're probably going to be into iOS 12.3. If not, if you don't use the TV app like me, it's just sort of a better version of the TV app with a new icon that you may never actually touch. Now, the other changes in this update come for another new service that Apple is working on, and that is the Apple card. You may remember seeing this on stage at Apple's March event. It's the titanium, not piece of plastic, piece of metal that Apple is going to be releasing sometime this summer. And because of that, there is going to be some changes in the wallet app. We've actually seen what these animations look like, courtesy of somebody over on Twitter. The card setup looks like it's going to be as smooth and seamless as any other Apple sign up or setup process. But inside of the wallet app right here, inside of iOS 12.2, you've got some new animations. And it looks looks like again, those have been tweaked just a little bit. One thing that I've noticed and that people were pointing out over on Reddit is the fact that transaction list is actually longer now. And what's really cool because one of the tenant features of the Apple card is you'll be able to see where purchases were made in clear language rather than having to cross-reference statements and getting confused along the way. So for example, let's say I don't remember where I bought my new polo shorts from. When I go here, it shows me the exact location, uh, which is actually really handy. And then you can go straight to the Maps app from here and look at it. You can go back to it if you need to. Maybe you forgot where you bought something. I think this is cool. It is really simplifying payments. It almost has like a special contact page for each store. Let me try to go over to Dunkin' now. This is this is a delicious trip. It does make it a lot easier though to see where you've bought things. And I think that's a major win for consumers. A lot of the time, credit card companies have made it incredibly challenging to know where you bought stuff or how to pay back. And it seems like Apple's card variant will hopefully alleviate some of those pain points. Of course, only time will tell. We just have a very rudimentary version of the wallet app right now. There aren't any hard changes for the Apple card inside of here just yet, but Apple's putting in a lot of good work in the background to make sure that when that card launches, it launches properly. Aside from that, I've looked around inside of settings. I tried to find some new wallpapers and unfortunately still no new wallpapers inside of iOS 12.3, at least not yet. I'm sure that things are gonna come one day, but in the meantime, you just sort of have iOS 12.2 with a couple of new changes. That's iOS 12.3 for now. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. As always, I've been Sam. Hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.